do you kind of dread exercise? Does it make you kind of just want to puke a little when some fitness influencer comes on and says, I exercise every day for health and wellness and it makes me feel great. Yeah, yeah. That concept of wanting to exercise and having a little bit of that bleh, feeling along with it, it, it's not only normal, it's the majority of us. It's most all of us. And we go around beating ourselves up over it, acting like, oh, I'm just such an inferior person. Oh, something's wrong with me. Oh, I'm fat, lazy, ugly, whatever, out of shape. And you know what? (laughs) It's not doing us any good. And so today I'm going to talk a little bit about how we can get our bodies moving in a way that we'll actually like it and not in that platitude, yippee, skippy, walk for health and wellness every day and you will have the dopamine rush and it'll make you feel better. Like, no, 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 no. If that platitude worked, we would all be exercising already and I wouldn't be here preaching about it. So <laughs> we're not going there. But if you do get a hold of this concept and you're able to get your arms around it of what we're going to talk about here in this whole concept of actually enjoying the exercise we do. If you're able to get your arms around it and able to start practicing this, yes, you very likely may live longer because you're healthier, but that's not really the point, right? Because we don't want to just live long. We want to live long and what? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Live long and prosper. (laughs) Sorry, I can't help myself, can't help myself. No, really what it is, is it's this whole exercise thing. The more I work with real people like me and you who are no longer 20 years old, but we like to think we're still 37, but we're still lying to ourselves about that. And things just blow apart. Things like we think we're fine. And then all of a sudden, yeah, the next thing we know, you know, we're on crutches or we have to use a cane for a while or, you know... <laughs> <laughs> We've got our wrist bound up in a in a brace. It's about body freedom. It's about having a body that will more of the time do what we want it to do so we can live the lives we want to live. And that's what brings the joy. That's what, what brings the fulfillment and the happiness. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. There is a small percentage of the population that legit truly finds joy and happiness in bodybuilding, body sculpting, counting their calories to the nth degree, looking at their macros, making sure their protein, carbs, and fat are exactly adjusted. If they bring in alcohol, they know to translate that into carbs and not just alcohol and look at how it metabolizes with the body and your rest and your tapering down and your cutting and your building and your uh, feeding cycles so that you can get on a podium finish with your spray tan and your slathered up oiled body. Like there is a small population. And the reason we see that small percent of the, the population it's because quite frankly, they're, they're, they're kind of fun to look at, you know, <laughs> and um, they on the outside look like the pinnacle of health with their ripped muscles, bulging and six pack abs and all that. However, it's not everybody else in the whole world. I mean, that's just, a, a, it's, it's like saying somebody who plays volleyball thinks everybody else should play volleyball because volleyball is great for health and wellness. It's like, it's, it's the very same thing. It's like, no, it's not everything. (laughs) So I want you to have body freedom so that your body can do more of what you want it to. So your body is revolting less. So your body isn't going, oh, a flight of stairs and I have two bags to carry or Oh, so there's this walking thing happening, but I just, my feet can't handle it. My back can't handle it. My shoulders can't handle my neck. You know, I'm going to have a migraine tomorrow. Oh, it's going to hurt this or that. That's what we're really talking about is being able to go off and live our lives. If this is your first episode of Couch to Active, go back and listen to a whole bunch of others and you'll learn about me and my health issues and things I've overcome and am overcoming. And I'm actually actively in the process of healing myself. And and I've gone from basically having no, no energy, no real ability, even hardly, I mean, I could go for a walk, but it would wipe me out and just lots of stuff that I talk about it a lot to now I've actually got zip in my step. 
and I found myself going out for a walk and jogging a little bit again, which I used to do that all the time. But then for several years, it became unheard of because my body was revolting just to even go out for a walk, let alone a jog. Um, just this today, I caught myself, I caught myself doing a squat, a fancy pants little squat where I took my feet wide, I bent my knees, my elbows, I reached my hands down, I touched the floor, and then I took my arms and reached them up to the sky and jumped up just for the heck of it, for the fun of it, because I felt like it. And I caught myself. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is the first time in a long, long, long time that I've had this kind of energy to just have my body do what I want to. I had helped a friend uh, move, actually a family member, uh, move over the weekend, and I was able to help schlep boxes and take boxes up and down stairs and uh, you know, help scooch furniture around. And I had to, you know, drive hours and hours to get there, do all that moving for a whole weekend and then drive hours and hours to get home. And then I'm back at my desk and here I am doing a podcast, waving my arms around in the sky because I'm feeling good. <laughs> no, I don't feel good every day. This is what I want for you. I want you to be able to say, what's important for me? What's important for me is that I can perform well at my job and have the energy. I want to be able to get down on the floor with my dog or my grandkids and play with them without being afraid. I'm not going to be able to get back up. This is what I want for you. And so here's the couple of steps that everyone needs to take in order to start getting themselves on the path. And it is not an exercise plan. It all starts in the brain. It starts in the mind and it starts in the heart. So the first piece that we have to do to get ourselves there is realize after we've realized and already decided, yep, we want to do this exercise thing, right? So we're going to assume you're already there. You're here. You're listening to this podcast because you got to get this exercise thing going you're on board. You're like, all right, now I'm on board mentally. I'm still on the couch. What's my next step? You've got to be brutally honest with yourself. Get yourself brutally honest. And you don't have to write it down. You don't have to say it out loud, but it helps. But really think about the past. And has there been a time when you have been able to move your body, exercise, get that heart rate up in any way, shape, or form, everything counts. All the LA oxen free friends here, everything counts. Use your imagination. Yes, that counts too. When have you been able to get your body moving in a way that you actually enjoy that makes you smile? Like really dig in, really think about it. And here's why. We are learning and knowing more and more and more that things that come off of our to-do list very quickly, healthy eating, sleep, hydration, exercise, all these things that we like to keep lying to ourselves and saying are nice to haves, not needs to haves, they especially fall off if they're done in a way that we don't enjoy. So you need to get really brutally honest and ask yourself, is there something you have enjoyed before in the past or as far as exercise goes? I mean, and you could go way back in your past or ask the other question. Are you trying the same darn things over and over again and you don't like it? Do you keep signing up for gyms and throwing yourself on a treadmill and trying to do the podcast thing, trying to do the watch a TV show while I'm on the treadmill, but you really actually hate it? Yeah. So we got to find the things we like and we got to start quitting the things we don't like. And I know quit is a scary word because especially our generation, mostly what I'm speaking to is you're well over 40, <laughs> but 37 forever. Quit doing the things you don't like to do when it comes to exercise. Require yourself to get radically, radically committed to figuring out what it is you enjoy. And you may need to get radically creative. And we can talk about that more on a future episode. This is important because when you find a way to move your body, exercise, fitness, workout, whatever you call it, 
And it could be like, oh, I'm going to volunteer at the food bank every weekend. And so every Saturday, your exercise is volunteering at the food bank. You don't feel like you're exercising, but you're schlepping 20 pound bags here and there and everywhere all the time. If that, if that's what gets your body moving and that's what helps you build strength so you can continue to enjoy the rest of your life better or so that it can be integrated with your life, that's the Holy Grail that's going to get you there. Not coming up with some plan and gritting out junk that you hate to do. Enjoying it and not being miserable in the process not feeling like you're going to die, not feeling like you're punishing yourself, but actually enjoying it is where you start. Now, if right now you're asking yourself and saying, I hate it all. I hate it all. I don't like to do any of it. Or I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Then you have the hard work of showing yourself compassion for where you're at and knowing that you can still get there and you will. Your hill is just a little bit longer or taller or steeper. Your hill could be longer or it could be steeper and shorter, (laughs) but the hill is still the top of the hill is still up at the top of the hill regardless. So you get to choose how long you're going to make this hill or how steep you're going to make it. What's important though, is to recognize that just because you can't think of something right now, doesn't mean that you have been denied this in your life. So there's a whole lot more where this came from, but what's important here is for you to say, yeah, I know my body needs exercise. My body will always need exercise. It's not negotiable. It's science. So I got to do it. I got to figure this thing out and start working on what you enjoy to do first. Now, if you are really stuck and you need an expert to come in and help you figure this out or get it rolling head on over to couchtoactive.com forward slash start. And that'll show you exactly where your first couple steps are to get yourself rocking and rolling on this. Friends, you deserve this. This is a long time coming. You think about it a lot. And I am here to help you get there. Couch to Active, man. This is what we do. <laughs> All right. Hope to see you soon. Couchtoactive.com. And uh, if you are new, check out a whole bunch more episodes. We got more than 500 here. Alrighty, couchtoactive.com forward slash, what is it? Start, S-T-A-R-T. Bye-bye now. <laughs>